so in vlsi opportunity video we try to explore all the recent opportunity as a fresher or as a experienced guy you have in vlsi industry in india and today i have four such kind of opportunity and one bonus point i'll take it up in the last of this video and also i don't include the direct job offer because if you just go through any career side of any any company you can directly get their job offer right so why to include them but in future probably i will start including job offer also if i find a great opportunity in today's episodes mostly the things which i'm covering are not in the limelight like mostly people people ignore those type of opportunities see and that's why i am taking the lead to help you out to finding those hidden opportunity the first opportunity is coming from nxp and i want to thanks polomi for informing me about this so if we go inside this this is exclusively for all the women in tech like if you are a boy you can't uh, apply for this so i'm sorry but other opportunity you can but if you are a girl right female and you just finished your first year of btech you are in your third semester currently then this is a great opportunity for you if you are not right then if you have your junior or your senior please inform them about this opportunity so this opportunity is given by nxp under women in tech and they are what they gonna do you need to apply it actually and the dates are running fast i think the last date is of 15 september today is 30 august or you will see in 31st august right so it is running you go to i'll i'll paste this link in my description go there and you can just read it out if you find it great then go for it. timeline so it started from 18 15 is the last date and then how they gonna shortlist you they gonna shortlist you through only aptitude test and paragraph writing because you have only completed your first year of btech they won't uh, expect some many technical thing hard technical thing from you so it's great that they are only testing your aptitude test and then the test result will come on 6th and then interview will be there if you and interview will be there and if you pass through the interview you got selected but the good bad thing is that they have only 60 seats but i think you need only one seats right so it's a great opportunity the syllabus they have syllabus means the things which they are gonna taught you when you will be under them and that is this and this syllabus is a wonderful thing and they are quoting something here which uh, took my eye and that is in somewhere actually yeah this one full stack course in semiconductor design full stack mostly used in i like in software uh, industry full stack means they have the front end and back end somebody design using web tools and in the back end they do the logical thing like if you click on this button you will go there if you click on this button you go there but in semiconductor mostly we don't use full stack because full stack is huge thing you need to know your front end design also you need to know your back end design also but they are quoting this like full stack course in semiconductor in one year online learning so that means you will continue with your college work but at the same time you will get a chance because it's online to learn from them from nxp and also they have many offer for you like uh, they will give you financial assistance of 50000 also preference in the internship when you go in your third year or final final year and there are many thing you just go through this so after that we have a opportunity for everyone it is kind of making a projects and it is your chips chips to start up so here the con is that you can't apply individually you need to convince your professor your professor will help you to apply for it but i am including it here because i find it out very interesting thing like if your professor are really interested and they don't know about this or they feel that student are not motivated enough then just go there and tell your professor that you are really motivated so if i go here call for proposal so here you will get all the guidelines every every guidelines are there and also all colleges can't apply and they have some eligibility criteria and in el eligibility criteria your college or your institute need to inside one of this iit nit triple iit isr or any government funded or state funded government colleges or if it is a private college then also you can apply like your professor can apply on behalf of you but clause a and clause b need to be there to be eligible and the main purpose of this program by government of india and that is 
to train student for VLSI. So which means your professor need to have a great proposal and if your prof professor have a great, great proposal then he will help you to get the training through this initiative right so it is not like you need to be a top notch designer actually this program is to make you a top notch designer so that's why if you are not so well with all the concept then also try to convince your professor for applying so what's the last date of it? so we have the last date and that is again the 15th september so you have roughly 15 days so now the people who are taking nptl courses and who have registered for the exam to motivate you to be a topper of your class in the NPTEL, uh, this is the opportunity and that is a internship opportunity from NPTEL. So in the pre-internship phase, actually you need to be a topper of your subject, any subject you are taking and then NPTEL will connect with you. They will connect with the professor of that course and if the professor have few vacancy then you can go for an internship for this much of time. They will tell you these are the application, those things, right? During the internship, you will have a nice way to explore those campuses, mostly IIT, IISC. So going there, doing the internship is great. And also you will get some stipend. So you are also earning some pocket money, it's great. But the main thing is that your CV becomes stronger, right? You, you One is that you are topper of their subject and another is you have an internship. Also there is an opportunity, but I'm not sure about if it is still live or not, but it seems like it is there and that is TI internship. So this is for top scorer of these two subject and those are basic electrical circuit and analog circuit or analog IC circuit. Will be eligible to interview for internship or program and you might be get a internship for sure because you know many things that's why you, you become a topper. I think currently it is not running. These three courses are not running but I think analog IC is running. So if you have re registered for analog IC or any one of these three then for sure try to submit your assignment on time and be the topper of your class and who knows you get a TI internship and then a PPO from TI. So the fourth opportunity and, and this is from ACL, semiconductor library, not library, semiconductor laboratory and this is a part of it. So if you go inside, actually they don't have any dates or fixed dates like hey you will get internship between this and that. It is a running internship. You can apply anytime and if you are eligible enough they will take you up. So here they have all the detail, but one suggestion would be before applying, you just mail them and try to know the exact window because in this site, they have not written any window in which window they will take. So I'm guessing anytime you can send uh, those things, but still uh, before doing this hard work, like working with your head of HOD and other things, please confirm once and then only apply for this internship and another thing don't apply for this internship if you don't have a very high CGPA 9 plus for sure otherwise it will be declined and after you got selected they will give you some projects and those projects will be a beneficial a great beneficial for your career in backend physical design backend VLSI physical design so now is the time for the bonus so for bonus will go to LinkedIn and in LinkedIn you see one tab most of you know most of you don't know and that tab is called jobs so just click on jobs and here you have all type of job you just need to do you just need to give your job references and then all the jobs what other jobs are available you will keep on seeing uh, and the good thing is that jobs from good company big companies are also there and jobs from not so known company for example dice i don't know which type of this company are but it is there so that means all the opportunity in startups in small uh, msme or anywhere where they need a electrical engineer a hardware engineer a vlsi engineer or a software engineer you can apply and you can invest your time then wasting your time and waiting from uh, getting a call from high like big mnc or only depending on your on campus opportunities so please explore this and it keep on changing every day so i'll highly recommend to see it every day and just go there if you go inside you you'll see everything about the job uh, all the eligibility qualification if all the things not all all the things are not necessary uh, just see the qualification if they are saying bachelor of engineering and you are doing your btech that's perfect if they say hey you need to know five or 10 things and you only know probably three or four things then also it's all okay to apply we'll see you in the next episode of vlsi opportunity 
टिल देन कीप स्माइलिंग कीप प्लानिंग एंड कीप हेल्पिंग एवरी वन टाटा बाय बाय